This water bill is so expensive. I don't even know how much to irrigate. There's got to be something I can do. Howdy! Is this a plea for help? I hear your frustration. And you're right, water is too valuable to waste. In fact, too much water could actually be bad for your lawn. It can lead to increased disease pressure and increased weed pressure. Furthermore, it floods the root zone with water and deprives it of the oxygen that it needs to be dense and healthy. One of the best things you can do to enhance water conservation is to utilize some irrigation best management practices. These best management practices, or BMPs, include raising your mowing height, which will let your turf grow nice and tall, and also improve the density and depth of your root system, especially in our deep-rooted grasses like Bermuda grass and tall fescue. You also want to limit the amount of fertilizer you're applying during the drought stress period, particularly among our cool season grasses like fescue and bluegrass, which don't require nitrogen during the summer and certainly during times of drought. You also want to limit the amount of traffic and wear from equipment or pets during this time, as that will cause undue stress on the turf. One of the other best management practices I like to recommend is to utilize drought-resistant varieties such as Bermuda grass or tall fescue, which have a natural advantage in period to other grasses in times of drought stress. You can also contact your local extension office and ask them about drought-tolerant varieties and cultivars that have been identified by breeders and researchers, ones that utilize and require less water than many other traditional lawn grass. Some of the ways that you can increase the sprinkler system efficiency is to conduct an irrigation audit, which will tell you how much water you're putting out in a single zone and also will give you an idea of the uniformity in which that water is being applied throughout the system. A good rule of thumb during the drought stress period is to apply one inch of water in a week's time. Another tool in the toolbox you could utilize is to upgrade your system to a smart controller, which utilizes real-time weather data to adjust the runtime of your system, therefore not as applying much water based upon the local environmental conditions. You could also consider adding a rain sensor or a soil moisture sensor, which will then limit the frequency in which your irrigation system is run, and you don't have to worry about manually resetting it on your own. Well, now you know some irrigation BMPs. You go fix that head over there and you'll be ready to go in no time. Thank you, Dr. Turf. We hope you found this information useful. And if you want more information, we'd like you to use the QR code on your screen to take you to the Virginia Tech Turfgrass website. That's where you're going to find a lot more information on how to grow a healthy lawn. Also, don't forget that your local Virginia Cooperative Extension Office is there with personnel and resources to help you have a great looking, healthy lawn and landscape and do so in an environmentally responsible manner. Thank you.